action. farce has just opened at the Union Theater on Dublin Street in Peterborough. The distraction is written by a local artist and includes such interesting characters as gargoyles and medieval players. Promising talent. Tell me I'm sick. Great. Very great. I cry. The distraction is the play in the play that these medieval players are attempting to perform if it weren't for such complications as the plague. But far from being a morbid tale of illness, the distraction is full of clowning and aerobatics. There's a lot of medieval staging in it. Um, three huge itinerant stages are brought on. There's a carousel. So it's a lot about entertainment, um, and it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a farce. There's a lot of jokes in it. A lot of Three Stooges kind of boffo humor. With a stellar cast of stage veterans, including David Bateman and Robert Winslow, the distraction is sure to amuse. It's about clowns uh, in the medieval area who come to a town and attempt to do a play called The Distraction, and they're attacked by various forces of society, uh, merchants, the state, uh, the church. The play is written by local artist Philip Pummel, who cannot just be called a playwright since he excels at so many other forms of artistic expression. It follows close on the heels of Macbeth, which just finished its run at the Union. It's exceptional. Stuff has gone up here, experimental work that wouldn't go up anywhere else in Peterborough, work by new local artists like Philip Cummel. Um, and yet we also put up things like Macbeth, Brecht, anything can go up here. A lot of the work that goes up is more experimental. The distraction continues tonight, tomorrow and Sunday, and next week, Wednesday to Saturday, at the Union Theater. A good Christian like yourself can afford ten ducats? No. Nope. How about you, Wally? Ten ducats? <laughs> must have been an old form of currency. It must have been. I don't times. have any ducats. <laughs>